Hey everybody, it's Dean DaCosta, the Search Authority, and today this video is very special because I've seen a lot on Facebook uh, people looking for ways to find people based on skills, specifically as it relates to, and I'm going to move down here so you can see where we're talking about this area, skills and endorsements, and as you can see, I have quite a few, some people have more, some people have less, and the industry easiest way to do this is a couple of different is one way that I think works the best. So we're going to start with this based on skills and endorsements. And then you also have the words industry knowledge down here. So we're going to use both of them. So we're going to start with this. So skills and endorsements at the title of this section. And if you look down here, you'll notice quite a few names. The question is, how do we get them in LinkedIn? So what I am going to do is I'm going to x-ray in to get them. And the first thing I did, and I've already created strings, I did site colon linkedin.com slash in, and then I put coaching. Coaching is one of the skills that you can have. So it's not, I don't have it here, but I'm going to use the word coaching for this particular one. Um, I may have it down here somewhere, but for now we're going to put it there. And the first thing you're going to notice is all these skills and endorsements are really, 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 really close to each other. All three of these particular ones. Now there's more down here and we're going to get into those in a minute. You see schools, you see, uh, excuse me, you see uh, tools and in, interpersonal skills. They've actually gone ahead and broke them down. So what I'm going to do though, is I'm going to make it to where we can probably get away with just one that'll cover everything, no matter where it sits. And here's what we did. I decided to say, since we know the main category of skills and endorsement, to go ahead and say around. Around means within a certain distance of another word. So we're looking for the word coaching around another set of words. Now, normally you put a number in there. In this case, I decided to put in the star, which is the walker, which basically means anything. So we're basically saying any number. Skills and endorsements. We got 352,000 people that have the word coaching around skills and endorsement. And that's what we're looking for. Now, the question is, though, will it work as we get down here? And, that, and that's a very good question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put SDLC in there instead of coaching to see if this will work. And, and we're going to find out uh, if this will work. So we're going to put SDLC around skills. And, and look, it still worked, 18,300. So this is working. This is doing what we want to do. You see skills enhancement, see SDLC. And what we are saying is look up the word. Uh, look up SDLC around, and this is before or after um, skills and endorsement. So you may not find, like in this case, the SDLC is before skills and endorsement, but it's probably after as well, otherwise it's not be there. So in this case, what you're doing is you're covering, okay, if it's listed in skills and endorsements, we got them. But if it's not, but it's listed in their resume, or their profile, I should say, we're still getting them, which is phenomenal because that means you got, you got either way you go, you're good to go. You've got what you need. Now, the reason why we don't put a number in there is because uh, look how far down this can go. I mean, there are a lot of them in here. If we, you know, we could get ourselves into a little bit of trouble if we tried to do all of these. Now, what would happen if instead of skills and endorsements, we, uh, we went with industry knowledge as an example? So let's see. Uh, and, and keep in mind, I'm doing this live with you. I've played with this many times. I kind of know what's going to happen with some of them. And let's try this. See, it still works. The only difference now is now we're looking down the industries and knowledge section. But again, if it's not in the industries and knowledge, you may not see it uh, because we are using the um, the uh, wild card. Pretty good shot, you will. But you just never know. So what I'm going to do now, because we have that, is I'm going to actually come back up here and get the skills and endorsements again. Copy, and let's look at the number. We got 2450 here for, with SDLC. We're going to come back up here, and we're going to put skills and endorsements back in, and we're going to say we got 18.3. So this is by far and away a better choice. And the reason for it is simple. We're looking under skills and endorsements wild, meaning up or down. Once you get down here, it's not as simple because this is a subcategory. So it may not work. The, the, the idea behind it may not work quite as well, but it works really well here. And again, if this is too many, you don't need to use the wild card. You can put a number in here. Let's put 20 in here and see what we get. See, now we only get 63 and uh, and everything. So And, and we're going to look at one of these and just get an idea. So we're going to open up Brian Mitchell as an example. Let's see what we're looking at here. So we're going to come down here. So here's the skills and endorsements, and here's the SDLC. Right there. Done. Fine. We did it. There you go. So that's why I am going to use the, the the wild card because I just think it gets me more results. But if you want to narrow your results down, Ken, 20 gets you 63. Remember, that's 20 words. 40 is going to get you 100. Um, 
you know, um, we'll go with 100 words. We'll get you 19.5. That might actually not be awful. If you look at here, that might not be 100 words. 100 words is probably pretty accurate. 40, yeah, I could see how 40 doesn't work. I mean, that's 1, that's 2, that's 3, that's 4, that's 5, that's 6, 7. You get the hint, 8, 9, 10, 11, and you keep going. Then, of course, you have to worry about all this stuff down here, counting. So, yeah, this is the simplest way I know of. And it's not just for this. It's literally for anything on LinkedIn. So let's do another example volunteer experience so we're going to pick volunteer experience and we're going to put in the, the word the letters dab because i am a member of dab and so we're going to take this out and we're going to put in volunteer experience because that's what they call it. it's not what we call it, it's what they call it and dab i believe is disabled american veterans by the way uh we're going to move the hundred we're going to use our wild card again because i just like using the wild card it guarantees i get what i want let's see what we get and we get thirty eight thousand people that are a member of dab that's pretty darn good but let's go back here and see if we can be one two let's put 20 just so we can narrow this down a little oops a little bit 20. Yeah, and see now we now now we actually got we got less, a little more narrowed down, but still a lot. And these are all people who are part of Dab. There's Dab. Um, so let's see if we can narrow it down a little more. Let's try ten. We're getting kind of smaller, kind of not. Uh, a lot of people are members of Dab. There's not much you can do about it. Now, if I really want to get specific, I could try putting in my name just to get to me. Yep, there I am, right there. And Dav, Dean has 14, blah, 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 blah. We already know Dav is right there. So if you want to get someone specific, you can add a name or a specific company and say, hey, people who are Dav that are that work for Microsoft. You know, you can do it that way. So that's the way to do it. But this works on not just Microsoft. I mean, excuse me, LinkedIn. It works on all sites. All you got to do is find what that main category is and then use the around operator. Around operator is old operator, been around a long time, but most people just don't use it. They don't realize the power of it. And this has got to boatload of power boatload of power and so that's how i do it uh and it works and it's simple and it's easy um so long story short this is x-raying linkedin this is using the around to pretty much get whatever the heck you want my name is dean DeCosta, the search authority may the source be with you